Hey guys, I'm Calvin from Raw Coding. Today, I'll be showing you how to customize and add a menu bar to your Wix website. Hey guys, I'm currently in the Wix editor. To add a page, go to the top left next to the Wix logo. Under page, click on the drop down, and you will see the pages that you currently have on your website. To add a page, click manage pages, press add page. I'm going to rename this page to about, press enter. And if you click on it, it will take you to the about page. I'm just going to change the page background so we know which one is which. And I'm going to go back on manage pages. At the bottom of the page, you will see a couple of options. These relate to the menu bars that you can add to your website. A menu bar allows the user to navigate around the website by clicking on the links at the top of the web page or on the side of it. You also have the option to add an anchor to your website. An anchor navigates the user to a specific point on the web page that you have set up. So if we go to the home page and click on add, go on to more, you will see the anchor option over here. Drag the anchor into the Wix editor and then you can drag the anchor down where you would like it to be placed. I'm going to place it just above the what we do title section and I'm going to rename the anchor by double clicking on it and call the anchor what we do. So now if we go back onto the page menu and click on manage pages, we can add an anchor link to our site menu by clicking this little icon at the bottom. It will take us to the anchor option. So the anchor is currently on the home page and it's titled what we do over here. To add the anchor to your site menu, press done. You want to rename this to what we do. So this basically tells the user where this link goes to and press done. And now we have three options over here. Finally, the last option allows you to create a drop down on an unclickable link, but the drop down pops up when you hover over the unclickable link. So I'm quickly going to add a drop down by clicking on it. I'm going to name it drop down as an example and press enter. And then I'm going to create three new pages with different titles. So one, two, three. So we've got coding tutorials, website tutorials, and hardware tutorials. So what we'll do, we'll add these as a subclass to the drop-down folder by just popping them underneath it. And then you will see the little line link next to it. Release it, drop it in there, and we'll add these three under the drop-down folder. So in our site menu links, we currently have the home page. We have an unclickable drop-down menu that shows these three pages when the user hovers over it. We have a what we do menu title that will take us to a specific point on the home page. And then we have a separate about page that we created earlier. So this is how you incorporate anchors and pages as well as unclickable drop down menus under a single site menu bar. So what we'll do next is create a site menu bar with this information inside of it. Let's click out of this. Let's press add, go on to menu. And then you'll be faced with a bunch of pre-designed menus that you can choose from. You have the option to add a horizontal menu and you also have the option to add a vertical menu. These work in the same way. So I'm going to drag in a horizontal menu. I'm going to choose this one over here. I'm going to drag it in and drop it. And then you can see that the menu titles correlate to the pages that we created earlier. So if we click on preview, the home page will take us to the home page. We're currently on the home page now. The what we do menu title will take us to the anchor that we created earlier. We are unable to click on the actual drop down title. However, when we hover over it, the three pages that we linked to the drop down title show up. So we can click on the hardware tutorials page, website tutorials page and coding tutorials page really easily like that. Finally, clicking on the about menu title will take us to the about page. So if we go back to home and go back to editor. I am now going to show you how to design your horizontal menu. To design your horizontal menu, click on it, press design, press customize design, and then at the top of this window, you can choose various designs that you like the look of. I quite like the one that we had originally, so I'm going to keep it that way. The regular tab allows you to adjust the appearance of the menu title settings when the user isn't hovering over them or clicking on them. On full color and opacity, we are able to change the drop down menu color by just clicking on it and choosing the color that you'd want. 
Next, you can also add corners to the drop down menu title that shows up when the user hovers over this uh, menu title over here. I'm going to choose 30 pixels. So now when the user hovers over the drop down menu title, the background of it will be blue and there will be corners on the edges. You can also enable shadows on your drop down menu title. You can play around with this and uh, see what you like. Next, on the text setting, you can change the text color when the user isn't hovering or clicking on the button. I'm going to change the text color to white. You can also choose the font and the font size. I quite like how the font is looking at the moment, so I'm going to keep it like that. Next, on the hover tab, you can change the text color of the menu titles when the user is hovering over them. I'm going to change this color to a light blue. And then, if we go on the clicked tab, you can change the text color of the menu titles when the user has clicked on them. I'm going to change this to a dark blue. So if we go out of this now, click on preview. So as the home is currently being clicked on, it's blue. When we hover over the what we do section, it will be light blue. And on the drop down menu title, when we hover over it, we can see that the background of the drop down is dark blue. And there are now corners on the edge of the menu drop down. So finally, if we click on the menu at the top, press manage menu, press page transitions, you can choose a transition animation for when your users navigate around your website. This is simply an added visual feature. So this concludes adding pages, anchors, and putting them all together on your site menu. If you are interested in joining Wix, please do click on the link in the video description below. It basically tells Wix that you joined through me and helps me out a lot. If you would like to see more tutorials on Wix, check out my YouTube channel and please do subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.